I want to talk about something more interesting, and this is called the angle of deviation. Uh, if we assume, if we assume that light travels on a straight line, of course, we all know that. But what about in a case whereby there is a barrier and this barrier becomes uh, an obstructor of the path of light? Definitely, we expect this light to move from this point to this point. So that's why we have something we call the angle of reflection. Which means that if there was no barrier, this light will continue to move on this path. Which means that the angle between the reflected ray and this straight line is called the angle of deviation. So now I'm going to prove out the formula. But before that, the angle this incident ray makes with the surface of the mirror is called the angle of glance. So I is incident, the incident ray. This is the angle, the incident ray. Ah, uh, let me make a difference here. This is called the angle, the incident uh, ray makes with the normal, of course. But you see this G is the angle, the incident ray makes with the surface of the mirror. So that's, I just want you to see the difference. And this point also becomes G. Now, if this mirror was turned upside down, we expect that uh, the same straight line can occur here. So if this is the angle of incidence, this will become the angle reflection which means you can also have the glass angle here and the glass angle here and since this is a sum of the deviation we say the angle of deviation is 2 multiplied uh, by the glance angle the glance angle so we have 2 times G equation 1 I can also derive this equation in a different way. If I look at this straight line, remember that the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. So which means that I plus R, uh, so let me just try and draw the diagram so you can see, it makes more sense that way. So if I have this, I have, um, I, have I, uh, I have R, and I have also have uh, D, angle of deviation, right? Now, so which means that I plus R plus the angle of deviation, let me call this, I want it to make more sense. So I have uh, a straight line, incidence, reflection, I, R, you have uh, the deviation. Now, so which means that our I plus R plus deviation equals to 180 degrees. This is called sum of angles on a straight line. Um, so, but we already know from the laws of reflection that I is equal to R. So we have I plus I plus deviation equals to 180 degrees. So you have deviation equals to 180 minus 2I. So this is another formula 
uh, for the angle of deviation. In the next video, I'll solve a simple example and we can move forward. This is uh, Valdemar's College of Advanced and Preliminary Studies. We do excellent A-level uh, programs uh, for guaranteed admission into 200 level. We are in the success business and we transform money.